Hello friends, welcome back to Apple Friendly. Today I'm going to show you the alternative to Apple's Photos app, Hash Photos. This is one of my favorite apps from the App Store. I'll put the download links in the description below. I'm going to show you 10 things that I like about this app. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing that I like about this app is if there is a photo and if you swipe it up, you get this beautiful information about this photo, which you don't get it in the Apple's Photos app. I really love this feature. The second thing that I like about this app is the additional information that it shows on the photo thumbnails. As you can see, there's additional information and that is the photo size on each photo thumbnail. You can activate it by going to settings. Just swipe to the left, then go to settings, then go to thumbnail and tap additional info. Here you can choose different type of information that can be shown on the photo thumbnails. I normally keep file size and tap done at the top right hand corner. That's all. The third thing that I like about this app is this badges that it shows on the photo like this P indicates the PNG. So this photo is PNG not a JPEG and you can activate it similarly by going to settings and then thumbnail and then badges. So here you can select information that you want to show on photo thumbnails. And then the another best thing that this app can do is find the duplicates for you. And to do that, tap this little three dots here and tap this clean up option. Now here you'll find find duplicates and find similar photos. So if I tap find duplicates, as you can see, there are two photos that are duplicate. I can like select them and I can get rid of them. I can delete one of them. Tap delete and you're done. Tap done again. So you can easily remove duplicates from your photos. Now the next thing that is good about this app is different themes. Like if you go to settings, then head over to themes and then there are three type of themes that you can select like light dark and deep dark light is similar to photos app and this is dark theme what i especially like is this deep dark really looks beautiful and yes as you would expect this app allows you to set private albums and to do that just swipe left select this plus icon and select private album then it will ask you to set the password set the password one two three and four that's all now input the password give name to your private album and click save so your photos and videos are encrypted so press ok and to access the private album just swipe left select this hash photos icon and select private albums now input the password and here is your private album select it and here you can store the photos and videos that you don't want others to watch the another cool thing about this app is you can create smart albums. Unfortunately, it allows to create only one smart album in the free version. So to create smart albums, just swipe left, tap plus icon and select a smart album. Here you've got different options for your smart album. And now I'll click save. And now I'll give this album a name, so PNG, tap save. Now, as you can see here, I have got this new option, my smart albums. When I select PNG, it shows all the PNG photos that are there on my iPhone. Really helpful if you've got the collection of large number of photos. Another cool feature of this app is you can tag your photos. Like if I've got this photo, Tap this little tag option here 
and provide a tag like apple friendly like i'll just save it and here is your tag now the best part is you can search this tag in your spotlight search like i'll search for apple friendly and as you can see here is the hash photos if i tap it it'll open an app and here is your photo pretty useful this app also allows you to connect third party accounts like dropbox so just swipe left select settings scroll down and select connected accounts and here is your dropbox account just sign into your dropbox account and you are good to go little nice handy feature and last but not the least it allows the icloud sync so just swipe left select settings scroll down and select sync and select sync service you have got two options dropbox and icloud so now it will sync with icloud so that's all for now i hope you guys liked it do check out this app the download links are there in the description if you like the video give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and loved ones i'll see you in my next video till then take good care of yourself and as always subscribe stay tuned and keep the notifications on for my next videos thank you for watching